How about this for a World Cup semi-final? Brazil and Argentina on a collision course. Brazil the five times winners. Argentina twice the champions. Derek Ray with Stuart Robson. Stuart, we're going to be suitably entertained. Well, when I think about World Cups, I always think about Brazil and Argentina. Yes, you can put Italy and Germany in there as well. But these two nations have been brilliant at World Cups. Remember the 1978 World Cup played in Argentina, which Argentina won. And then you go back to the 1970 and that brilliant Brazil side. This could be an absolute classic. Really looking forward to this one. The starting 11 for Brazil. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Thiago Silva plays alongside Marquinhos in central defence. Lucas Paqueta starts with Casemiro in the centre of the pitch. And the striker is Richarlison. The Argentina first team. Well, it's a defensive looking lineup, but if the wing backs break forward, the midfield can get close to the front pair and the front two can link up with each other, they should still cause problems today. And they kick off here. Had a play for an Argentina throw. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Vinicius Junior. Return to Paqueta. Now well Molina. Here's Alvarez. Molina. Keeping possession of the ball with authority. Are showing good patience and just like that they don't have the ball anymore chance to do damage the referee spotted the infringement and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace And no nonsense defensive clearance. Well, what a start to the game that would have been. They certainly can't come closer than that. Well, a game of such fine margins, but let's see if they can create another opportunity. Over the byline, hence a goal kick. But I think it's fair to say, Stuart, Neymar can do just about anything out there on the pitch. What in particular do you expect to see from him in this game? Well, for me, Derek, his greatest attribute is his ability to combine with teammates, particularly in tight areas, in and around the box, clever little one-twos, little passes around the corner. He's the player that could be key to breaking down this defence. Not to be advised giving the ball away there.
McAllister. Marcos Acuna. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Well, it fizzled out. Now, well, Molina. Lisandro Martinez. Messi. Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. And a goal! The opener in the semi final. First goal of the contest. Well, as you can see, this is a great bit of skill. He hits it perfectly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant strike. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Richarlison. Now the attack looks promising. And teammates to play it to. So a goal kick is what's coming up here. Romero Alexis McAllister well, keeping hold of the ball is what it's all about for them and an astute piece of defending Rafinha well that's a really good authoritative tackle throw in here Paqueta. Well, tremendous block. Corner to Brazil. And a goal here would really change the complexion of this game. And the short option preferred. We're trying to build ahead of steam. Another corner it'll be. And deciding to go short with this one. Deciding to go inside. Paqueta. Just cleared away in the nick of time. And they need to get tighter, but the danger averted for now. Well, still behind here, but only due to some incredible goalkeeping. Surely it's only a matter of time if they keep piling on the pressure like this. Heder Militao. Paqueta. Now Neymar, looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. Casemiro, that's really good and effective physical play. Well, as you can see, Argentina have found it difficult to control the tempo of the game here. But their speed of attack when they win the ball back has been breathtaking. It's been a really good performance from them so far. A really effective shielding under pressure. Danilo. Vinicius. Options in the centre. Throw in for Brazil. Paqueta. 
Back to Neymar. Very quick thinking there. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Marcos Acuna. In position. And a goal! They've extended the lead. Well, plenty of time remaining. This is far from over. But they're well on course for a place in the final. Well, as you see, it's not a good pass out from the back. It's on the wrong side of the plate he's trying to pass it to. It's intercepted, and it's a good finish. Yes, of course it is, but it's not good defending all round. So, the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. And the match begins. Lisandro Martinez. Messi. And off and running again here. There was a real golf in class in the first half. Will we see an improved effort from Brazil in the second? A classic example of how to intercept. Strong play here. Well, sadly, they just couldn't keep possession. The pressure was high, and they could be in here. Vinicius Jr. Now Casemiro. And reading it absolutely superbly. Neymar. Richarlison. Well, there's a keeper on song. Well, how did he stop that? That's just unbelievable. And over it comes. Routine, really. Otamendi. Fernandez. Rodrigo de Paul. And they know they need to stop him. A very timely interception. And this situation could be dangerous. Will he finish? Oh, that was begging to be put home, but the goalkeeper has it. Rafinha. Lucas Paqueta. Back to Paqueta. Danilo. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. And this would reduce the deficit. And there is the goal! Well, that changes the equation. And they have the momentum now. Well, here's the replay. And just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. Well, Brazil still trailing here, but this game very much alive as a contest once more. Enzo Fernandes. 
on to Messi. An attack full of promise. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, not giving the opposition a look in. That's strong play. And Brazil in a position of menace. Argentina doing well to regain possession. That's the kind of shielding play you expect from him. Crossing possibilities. Well, they keep working away, looking for an opening. And still they wait for the chance. Good-looking sequence. Can he get them level? Oh, no! It's gone a-begging! Well, they can't miss opportunities like that. What a chance to equalise. Well, he's gone back and shown him a yellow card, Stuart. Well, that was a poor challenge. The referee wasn't going to forget that, was he? And they will make the change now. Enzo Fernandez. And the referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. And unable to keep the ball. And he has options available. A really effective shielding under pressure. And Neymar! Able to get a body in the way. Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. So a personnel change then. Fernandez, Paredes. Well, by playing keep ball like this, they're keeping the opposition at bay. And he read it well, intercepting it, and they will be awarded a free kick for that. Here it is now, a substitution. Five minutes remaining, and one thing is certain, no one is leaving, because it's still close. They get forward, but time is very much against them here. Martinez. Well, they've given him too much space, but nothing comes of it. Eder Militao. Paqueta. In position here to protect the ball. Casemiro. Vinicius. Opportunity. I'm not testing the keeper at all with that effort. And full time here. Argentina will be taking part in the 2022 World Cup Final. Well, what a tense game that was. They really did have to dig deep to come out on top, but they showed a lot of determination and character today, and they'll need all those qualities in what should be a great final. And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Well, it's a good performance. He worked hard, played well and scored a goal, and his team won. What more could you ask for?